Well, the, th the thing about tech news is, there's snack news says, and then, and all, all, all these ones. Hmm. Well guys, it looks like Intel's been keeping secrets. One secret that's nine years old, in fact. Yes, Intel has just patched a nine-year-old vulnerability in all enterprise core processors. So every processor from Nihalem, I don't know if I'm saying that right, to KB Lake, built with the core microarchitecture, has had a security bug which allowed network attackers to remotely gain access to computers operating under Intel management technology and Intel standard manageability, which are features used for remote management in a corporate setting. This critical escalation of privilege vulnerability gave attackers control of manageability features. Apparently, tech news site Semi-Accurate has been aware of these vulnerabilities for five years and has tried to communicate with Intel execs, obviously receiving no response until now. Intel has now listed firmware patches for all the affected generations, so if you work in an office, maybe you should make sure your IT guy is aware of what's going on here. Or if you really hate where you work, fix it for yourself and then walk around the office with a sly smile. Uh, is, is something funny, Jimmy? No, why would you say that? Well, you've got a, a very menacing expression. I have no idea what you're talking about. In November, SpaceX asked the FCC for permission to launch 4,425 broadband satellites into space to provide high-speed internet to the world. This week, they have updated the Senate Commerce Committee on the plan, saying that they will begin launching these satellites via their Falcon 9 rocket in 2019. The satellites will be launched in phases through 2024, but they will begin test launches this year. The satellites will allocate broadband resources in real time, placing capacity where it is most needed and directing energy away from areas where it might interfere with other systems, in space or on the ground. This fiber-like speed will be thanks to satellites in a much lower orbit than the satellite network currently in place. So yeah, I mean, I won't say no to faster internet. Today, Hulu entered the streaming wars by releasing the beta for their live TV streaming service. It's a $40 per month package that includes the content from Hulu's regular streaming service, but adds TV streams from over 50 channels including the regulars, ABC, CBS, Fox, and NBC. But the service also gets HGTV, Food Network, Sci-Fi, TBS, and Viceland, and a number of sports channels. It's only $5 more than YouTube TV and comes with 10 more channels. Not bad. Hulu also gets a nice interface with this live TV thing, both on mobile and TV. And apparently it's better than the other ones, but I wouldn't know much about that because most live TV services just aren't available in Canada. So, Americans, enjoy. It's time for shorter news stories and more quickly than the others, and this time I'm actually going to try to say them more quickly than the others. At that Microsoft event yesterday, the Surface Arc Mouse was another thing announced. It removes visual indicators of separate active zones on the touch surface. Uh, the front part is a large touchpad. It responds to the usual clicks, but the whole of the touch surface is able to recognize scrolling actions and gestures from your fingers. You can pre-order it now for $80 US and it will ship with the Surface Laptop on June 15th. One more from Microsoft. We found out that Windows 10 S would only allow Windows store app so you have to use Microsoft Edge. Well, it appears that it will also force you to use Bing as your default search engine. If you want to use Google, you'll have to manually type in the web address. That's just... evil. DayZ has been in alpha since 2013. Well, they've released the beta, aka update 0.63. You can get it on Steam for $29. The last remaining Half-Life writer, Chet Falashek, has left Valve. It's, uh, it's not looking good. Looking forward to the movie, though. Logitech released a new iPad keyboard that uses replaceable coin batteries you would find in a wristwatch instead of the usual rechargeable lithium-ion cells. This allows the keyboard to have a four-year battery life, apparently, which means you'll likely replace your iPad before you replace your keyboard. The Logitech Slim Folio will go for $99. And that probably annoyed you, so I'm going to talk normal for the, this last story. Nissan has shown a prototype for a Faraday cage in cars to prevent cell phone use while driving. A Faraday cage is a cage of conductive material that stops electromagnetic fields from crossing the threshold. The case called Signal Shield will be at the driver's armrest where drivers are supposed to put the phone into when they drive. When they bring the phone out of the cage, they'll receive signal again, which makes the whole thing seem kind of pointless. Putting my phone in the glove compartment or throwing it in the back seat would kind of serve the same purpose. Might want to rethink this one, Nissan. 
Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. Smoke waves every day. Uh, if you would like us to say things on the show, then hashtag NCIXYodog on Twitter. We'll say it. Hey guys, new month means there's a new newsletter. Or maybe it's the same newsletter, but a new edition or, or volume. Or is it a newsletter altogether? I'm not sure. Comment below with what you think. But anyways, there is a new prize we're giving away when you subscribe to the NCIX newsletter, and that is the TP-Link Archer C3150 wireless router, featuring the glorious Mumimo. If you're already subscribed, just claim your newsletter points for this month, and you'll be entered for that as well. Click here, or in the links down below, for more info on this. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter right over there. But as always, la like the video if you liked it, comment below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Okay, now go watch my electric skateboard video. I'll, I'll see you later.